Okay, I'm going to be making a crock pot meal today. I've got my cube steaks. I'm going to put some cube steaks in the crock pot. I got my cute crock pot out today because it's bigger. Um, Mickey Mouse. I'm going to be putting some brown gravy mix in it. I think I got that at Aldi's. This at Aldi's. I'm going to put an onion soup mix. I'm going to put that in there. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll add a little bit of water um, for the gravy. I'm going to put my cube steaks in. Onion mix. Brown gravy mix. And we'll let you see what it looks like when it gets done. It's a little simple meal. Then I'm going to make some mashed potatoes. I think I'm just going to make some um, instant potatoes today. I got these at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to make some of these today to go with the cube steaks. I'm um, probably going to make some little bread. I've got some bagels that need to get ate. So I'm going to cut the bagel up and make little toast. I'm going to uh, dazzle a little bit of um, dressing on it to kind of season it up. But it's uh, everything bagels, which I've got from the Dollar Tree. So I thought that's what my, our meal is going to be today. But I'll let you know what it looks like when it gets done. Okay, I've got my onion mix in there, my brown gravy. I'm going to put some water. I'm going to need more water than that. Hold on one second. Okay, i got some more water in there. I've never made this recipe. I have seen some people do it. So, um, not really sure who I saw do it on TikTok. And if they did it exactly the way I'm doing it, I don't know. But I've got my um, water in there. I'm going to put this on, um, let's see, warm, put it on, I'm going to put it on high. And then I always put, I like to put onions and stuff. So I'm going to put some of these chopped onions. Um, got it from the Dollar Tree. Ooh. There we go. I like onions in my stuff. And I don't have to dice up an onion. Well, got the onion mix in there. That probably would have been enough onions, but I put a little more. And then, this is my spice rack. <laughs> I'm going to put some um, garlic powder. I like putting garlic powder on stuff. So, yeah. All right. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. Season it like that. See how it turns out. And like I said, make some mashed potatoes to go with it. I think it'll be good. I'll show you my progress as I go. The best thing I like about this crock pot is the little mouth ears. I like my crock pot. It came with a little um, miniature one that you can warm up cheese in it if you're going to make, you know, cheese for salsa, I mean for chips or something. So it came with that little bitty uh, warmer and I like it. But yeah, I like my little Mickey Mouse. Okay, it's been cooking for a little while. It's um, not thickened up yet, but like I said, this is the first time I made it, or I might not have said it, but um, I think it's going to thicken up pretty good, though. It looks good, though, the juices and stuff. Looks good so far. We'll let it cook a little while longer. Alright, this is the way I did my bread. It's a bag. It was two bagels I had left that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And I just put butter on them, a little bit of Italian dressing on them, and cooking them. Just a little bitty toast. Alright, this is the finished product. I've reduced the heat so that I'm going to turn the crock pot off so maybe the gravy is kind of thickening up more now. but. Might have been just a little bit too much water, but it's going to be okay because it'll dry, it, it will thicken up. Then I got my little bread, I got my mashed potatoes, so I'll show you a picture of it at the end when I make my plate. Let me know if you make this and hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. Well, this is my plate. I didn't put gravy in on my potatoes because I don't like gravy on my potatoes, but I got it on my meat. Got my little bread. I think it looks really good. Yep. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Have a great day.